Hi, I'm Margie Ray with Entertainment and Sports Today. Ta-da! Stay tuned. Stay tuned and watch her on Entertainment and Sports Today. Uh, this is Kevin Costner, and uh, be sure and uh, watch me on Entertainment and Sports Today, if you would, please. Keep God first and family first. Hey, I'm Eddie Redmayne. Stay tuned for Entertainment and Sports Today. Uh, I'm just so happy. Just appreciate it. Thank you. Cool, and that I am. And you are. I am. Jay Casper here with Three Doors Down. Hi, we're the Backstreet Boys, and we're coming up next on Entertainment and Sports Today. I am Will I Am from the Black Eyed Peas. Watching Entertainment and Sports Today. Stay here. Right here. Oh, yeah, baby. Hi, it's Connor Weil here, and we're here at the Teen Choice Awards. Tune in at 5 o'clock Pacific time to see your favorite stars go up on stage and probably get pied or slimed or something. I don't know. Stay tuned. I'm Kendall Vertez. I'm on Dance Mom. Hi, it's Candace Patton from The Flash. Don't forget to watch me on Entertainment and Sports Today. Hey, everyone. It's JoJo, and I'm here at the Teen Choice Awards. I'm Nia Frazier, and we're from Dance Moms. Holly Frazier, I'm a dance mom from the show Dance Moms, <laughs> and we're happy to be here today. What's going on, guys? I'm Marcus Scribner, and I'm on the ABC show Blackish. Woo! Wednesday nights on at 9:30. Yeah. Hi, I'm Justin Baldoni from Jane the Virgin. Uh, watch us every Monday night at 9 o'clock, and look for season two of My Last Days coming soon. Hi, how are you? My name is Jaime Camille, and don't miss season two of Jane the Virgin starting October 12th, 8 p.m. On the CW. Hi, my name is Abby Lee Miller. I'm on a television show called Dance Moms for Lifetime TV. You can see it at 9 o'clock on Tuesday nights. Margie Ray with Entertainment and Sports Today, and we are here for the Teen Choice Awards. So stay tuned for an incredible red carpet. Actually, the carpet here is blue, but um, still means the same thing as a red carpet. Hi. Hi, I'm Sophia Parker at Teen Choice Awards 2015. I'm here with Kendall Vertez. What are you excited about tonight? I'm excited to meet the cast, Pretty Little Liars, and I hope we win. I hope you guys win too. Do you have any new projects coming out? Yes, I'm coming out with a single called Out Loud, and I would tell you, but there's a lot of surprises, so you just have to stay tuned. Yeah. Hi, I'm Sophia, and I'm here with... I'm Jojo. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Very good. Who are you excited to meet tonight? If she's here, Caitlyn Jenner. Fingers crossed. Oh my gosh. That must be exciting. It is. Um, what are you wearing tonight? I am very lucky. I got styled by Swaggies and I am like gold solid sequins. Oh my gosh. I love it. Thank you. Do you have any new projects coming out? I do. I have a couple new singles and a couple new Christmas songs. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to hear them. Thank you. I hope you have a great night. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet I'm you. I'm here with? Nia Frazier. Holly Frazier from Dance Moms. Um, who are you most excited to see tonight? I'm super excited to see Sean Mendez. Oh my gosh, I love him. But I also <laughs> met Jordan Sparks, so that was like high on my list too. You know what? It's being nominated for... The Choice Reality TV yeah. Show and seeing Maddie and Chloe also nominated. I'm so proud of all of the oh, girls. I'm so, so proud of them. I'm here to support them. I wish you luck tonight. Oh, thank you so oh, much. Thank you. What are you wearing tonight? I'm wearing House of CB and then my shoes are Steve Madden. Oh, I love it. Uh, thank you. Ted Baker. Nice. Hi, I'm Sophia and I'm here with Chloe. Hi. Who are you excited to be tonight? Uh, the Scream Queens cast and Britney Spears, of course. Oh my gosh. And um, what are you wearing tonight? So Subu and Blue Blue. Oh wow. Hope you have a great night. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Sophia and I'm here with... Abby Lee Miller. What's one of your biggest accomplishments? Maddie. <laughs> How is the studio going in LA? It's fabulous. The kids are there right now. Well, not the kids on the show. They're here. Other kids from Pittsburgh are actually here too to enjoy this day with us. And there's booty camp going on. So kids from all over the country are there in class working dil diligently trying to get ready because tomorrow at 3 p.m. 
our auditions for the ALDC LA. Sounds amazing. Are you oh. gonna be there? I wish. I don't dance. You'll need to teach where, me. Where are your mom and dad? Why do you not dance? You'll need to you'll need to teach me how to dance. Why do you not dance? And where do you dance? All right, well, we're not doing that for them today. This is my, no, excuse me. Well, you know, every child should dance. The, it's good for your posture. It's good for your confidence to get in front of a mirror, to give a speech, to interview someone. All of those skills, you learn that at dance class. Not so much at soccer. Can I just say one yes. thing? Okay, Abby really puts the fear of God into everyone. I mean, I'm out there. I'm going to go to get dance classes. You're amazing. Oh, thank you. I'm not amazing. I just do my job, and I try to do it the, to the best of my ability. No, even with her interview. That's the best interview she's done so far. Well, you you made great. her do it right. That's great. You, get, you have to. You look people in the eye, and you shake their hand, and you enunciate your name clearly. Too many kids in this country, uh, you know, they let their mom and dad speak for them. You can't do that. Mom and dad aren't always going to be there. She's so right. And you are really are sweet. Thank You're you. not that tough lady on TV. <laughs> I'm mellow, believe me. Hey, welcome back, dude. How you doing? The expense of travel shouldn't keep you from the things you love. We'll get you where you want to be for as low as one dollar. Megabus.com provides daily express bus service with free Wi-Fi and power outlets so you can stay connected to the things that matter most. Stay connected. Megabus.com So we thank you. We thank you with our hearts. So here we are backstage at the Teen Choice Awards, and we're going to talk to all the winners. Stay tuned. The best advice for an up-and-coming performer. Um, I think some good advice would probably be to um, sort of well, definitely to believe in yourself. I know that it sounds super cliche, but it's such a huge <laughs> part of being um, in this sort of position. You have to love yourself and you have to get to know yourself and you have to be so confident in who you are as an artist and who you are as a person so you can deal with all of the extra stuff that comes along with being a performer because yeah. it's not just about getting on a stage and doing something every once in a while. There's so much work and so much of yourself that you have to give. And so you have to be confident in who you are and love yourself. Another thing I would say would be would be stay true to yourself because I think you know it's so easy to kind of get caught up in the whirlwind of this industry and you know everything that comes along. So it's it's really really important to not lose who you are and stay grounded, stay humble. I was basically gonna say what you were gonna say. I would say definitely um, stick to your artistry and remember your morals and things that are really important to you a lot of the time in the industry, you find that people expect certain things of you that you wouldn't necessarily do. So, um, yeah, I would say definitely just stand up for what you believe in and never change for it. Like horrible, like really depressed and really down. And uh, I went to the bathroom. Well, actually, I, I went on YouTube and I tried watching YouTube videos, like trying to make myself feel better. And uh, I watched Fail Army. I don't know if you guys watch those videos, but they're really funny. But like, it didn't cheer me up. I went on uh, Twitter to speak to my fans because they always cheer me up. But like, I just couldn't shake it. And then I ended up going uh, into the bathroom and I put the music on and it played uh, Chris, some Chris Brown song. But it was like, it like touched me and I just like went in the shower and I just broke down and I just like started crying and like I felt like everything was crashing at once and um, as I was crying I felt like I felt depressed I felt like there was no turning back um, I, I I had my eyes like this and I pulled away and I, I had this bracelet that I got about three weeks ago well a little bit longer than that but at the time it was two weeks prior 
and it says God has a plan, and uh, that kind of reminded me. So that was Cameron Dallas, and the question was uh, what made him get back to God, and um, his answer was what you just heard, and also um, I thought it was precious the way he said that on his bracelet it says God has a plan. So um, I think that's probably the most inspirational teenager I've seen in a long time. It's amazing. Um, Riley and Ryan are three years old and one month old, so it's a new experience, but we're enjoying it. And uh, just seeing uh, how they interact with each other is pretty special. So hopefully they're watching on TV no, today. For an answer, no matter what someone says, did you get a lot of rejection at the start? Uh, yes, I did. I had to push through a lot of things and overcome obstacles, but in the end it's all worth it because I am standing here with the surfboard. <laughs> what are you most excited for? The is kind of very similar to A's uh, look when she went to France. Very similar to that whole thing. Um, yeah, so she totally freaked me out. I didn't know who she was and I was you know, jumping around. And, crying and he was worried because my ring wasn't fitted yet so he was like it's going to fly into the Hudson and I'm going to lose the ring and I'm going to lose, you know, she's crying, I don't know. <laughs> Very romantic. I love the fact that all your outfits are totally different uh, yet they go together. I mean, is it the same designer or different designers and who designed each? Well, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the show. I'm Margie Ray with Entertainment and Sports Today. Glad you enjoyed us, our show here at the Teen Choice Awards. And I hope you had as much fun as I did because it was great.